All right. We're going to do Cancer now. Mars is in Cancer, so we're jumping there. All right. Nine of Water. Whoo, right off the bat. Wish fulfillment. <laughs> How do you like that? Ooh, on the bottom is Messenger of Fire. Woo, and Fortune's Wheel. Okay. All right, I had to peek. Okay. So it's like the wheel turned. Oh, this could be future. Okay, so the wheel turned, and here, here you are in... This feels real like uh, Pisces here. All right, so I just said that in the other reading. Um, you might go to the end of the Pisces reading for you, okay, if you were connected with a Pisces, okay. Now, this could be you holding stuff in, and now you've reached some sort of comfort level where you could feel like you could speak again, okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this up here. I feel like that's important okay see and the queen of water so communication improving now where is the oh mercury in um mercury in taurus okay so i feel like there's another week if you're connecting with an earth sign or a water sign and you're connecting with a water sign that ha communication hasn't been that great, I feel like now is the time to make that communication. I feel like in another week, there's going to be a retrograde here. And that may be some uh, surprises there. Okay, so, but I feel like if you want to communicate, the moment is now. That's what I'm getting. The moment is now. Okay, because once things go into retrograde oh okay so it's not that things will be bad it's just that uh, there could be a greater chance to um, they're going to feel like with that retrograde mercury they're, wanna, they're going to want to communicate better with you so if there is no contact or no communication, you might out of the blue get a message from them. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Now with the Mars in Cancer, you want to be focused in the conversation and uh, not be on the defense when you communicate, whenever it comes. And I feel like that would have you move in a new direction with them. Okay, and I feel like you've been connecting with them energetically, whether you have or not. So that means maybe you, uh, yeah, well, they're, they are highly uh, psychic, right? Okay, so, but this could be you quieting your mind to see where to go next because you feel luckier than you did in the past. This is being aligned with the one. Look at this heart space. Okay, so what's next? Woo, this flipped in my hand. King of Fire. Okay, finding the passion within you again. Okay. Now, for some of you, this might be connecting with a uh, someone who has a Jewish background. I don't know why that's popping up. That is. Okay, King of Fire. So you're passionate for a earth or water sign. Here's a nine. There's com It's like one completion and then something else opening up. Through the silence. This could be you. Finding new passion through your connection within opens a new door. Look at all the keys. Okay, so I feel
feel like you're going to build with a water sign if things weren't that great. I feel like it's improving here. Okay. Now what is this little fairy thing popping up here? I never noticed that before. Hmm. Okay, so that was Libra energy, wanting to find balance. That we it, it was like the fairies. Uh, we just did the Libra forest fay. Okay, so that we did just now, Libra. Now, for some of you, this is a musician you're connecting with. So this might be a question. Have you been doing a repeating patterns in Earth that um, had an outcomes that you didn't like? Okay, because I feel like there's a chance to change that. Yeah. If it's a water sign that's been in their polar opposite energy, this is like they want you... They want, they want to connect with you. Okay, now the male, right, holds the eggs. So they might be waiting for you to, I uh, reach in the middle, I trust my inner wisdom to guide me through my day. Okay, so, but I feel like they want you to connect. My thoughts are positive and full of joy. I feel like they want you to make the move. Woo, my day is full of potential. Okay. My every desire is achievable. Okay, so I feel like you were focusing on you because you had to. So they, it's like they knew that and they were just waiting for you to reach out. And they want you to. That's what I'm getting for those of you who are wondering. But it's like you let the mind stuff get to it, right? Okay, let's shuffle. Yeah, see they want they want the connection. It's like they think of the and this could be you of the good times. And they're unique unlike any other. And they see you as that too. So it could be a Pisces, Aquarius, um, Earth sign. Now for some of you, this was, they saw you as busy and giving energy to other things other than them. Okay. And they had to build strength within their own energy to not take it personally. For some of you, you could have had a child with this one. Now this is interesting. Now, for some of you, you could have had battles on how you wanted to raise child. But what I want to say with that is, if you both could let go of the battle, the child is following their own guidance, and they already know, um, they already have a course planned out. I'm getting golf uh, they already have a course planned out for themselves, so there's no need to to 
go through the battle of the wills because this child knows. Okay, so um, one person could have seen the other partner as immature or not uh, not meeting up to expectation. This also could represent like two inner child uh, energies that were duking it out to get their way. One was more in their emotions. Okay. But this also could be a message to return to the innocence so that you can move in that loving energy where there is um, unconditional love and forgiveness. No grudges. No keeping score. And it may take perseverance and little pauses along the way. But I feel like this is like it feels like it was meant to be, like destiny. even through some of the words that weren't so positive, right? Learning how to... It's like, okay, sometimes you imagine all these wonderful things that you were going to say, these fragrant words, but then the reality of it uh, was a different version. So then it was like, Wanting to maybe it's like wanting to shoot for the hole in one and uh, and then speaking and it didn't come out exactly the way you wanted to. This is like two independent people, two very independent people. And I feel like on both sides there was like getting uh look at all this bamboo it's not about i i feel like two independent people don't believe in compromise and but this bamboo feels very straight like there's no bend in it like letting the six dimensional is like letting go of the past and knowing how to move in the future and incense right it's like letting go of what stunk in experience okay so here is the love card Returning to love. Could have been some ego battles there. It 
air sign, air energy, and air and Leo, right? Returning to love. That's the story. Woo! Neptune. That's in Pisces. Okay. Now, for some of you, you're going to marry a Pisces. Could be a Leo. I'm getting, I'll tell you the energies I get. Leo, Virgo. Any water sign. Okay. Could be Taurus, right? I feel like that's making peace with the past. Okay. For some of you, you might marry a, a, a fire sign. Now that could represent someone who's uh, positive. I feel like there's like a balancing, wanting to balance a situation. Yeah, the transformation is here though. That's the message. New passionate beginning. Okay. Let's see since it seems like. What do they want to say? Okay, so someone wants to reconnect with you. Okay, because they see you as a dream of person and they want to make it a reality. If I know what love is, it's because of you. It's like they appreciate you giving them a chance. I want to say this is the Taurus energy. Okay, so it could start with a small compliment, but one that you really mean because they could see through anything that's insincere. And this is what they look forward to. I leave you with that. <laughs>